Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at Match Photo today. Specifically, what kind of an image makes a good Match Photo? Inversely, we're going to look at what makes a bad photo for Match Photo. Here, we'll start with the bad. So here I have an image. It is a straight on view of the side of a building. The reason this is a bad solution is it doesn't have any vanishing points. So what Match Photo does is it tries to line up your green and red axis based on the location of lines and how they vanish off into the distance. In this case, if I put my red lines here on the front of the building, you can see what's, what's going to end up happening is all my, uh, my reference grid ends up kind of just crumpling up right here. And there's nothing I can really do with the green. Maybe I kind of have a vanishing point over here. These guys are kind of going back. But you can see it's doing some weird stuff with my lines this does not look like a good grid that I want to input on. Another image that does not make for a good reference photo are panoramic or fisheye photos. The problem is here, I'll show you right away, this is real obvious. I'm going to use this gutter which is a straight line across the building and you can see right away that there's distortion there because as I did this panoramic view uh, the the building, which I can see all of, which is kind of nice, but it gets cut, it gets warped by this panoramic view. Same thing with fisheye photos. Anything like that that distorts straight lines is going to be a bad image to use with match photo. So what makes a good exterior photo? Something like this. So the nice thing here, what I'm looking at is lines going in two different directions, 90 degrees to each other, and the top section kind of points up. The bottom section, I have some lines that point down. So let me show you what I mean. So right here, I can put this red line up here along that line. Looks good. Down at the bottom, I have lines running this direction. So down here, I can use maybe this brick ledge as a line pointing down. And then green is just going to go on the opposite side. So green might go something like this. And then I could use this this in the front and what that's going to do is it's going to establish there go down even further come down here that's going to establish uh, kind of a vanishing point which is going to let me uh, trace onto that building so I can actually do stuff like draw these lines vertical and then draw along the face like that. So that's kind of quick and sloppy, but you get the idea. So that is good when it's vanish when I have lines going up and then other lines going down, that's going to give me a reference. I'm going to get rid of this because we're going to look at interior. So what makes an interior not a good solution? Same thing here. So this is a conference room and you can see the vanishing lines are an issue right away because again I have these parallel lines I'm looking straight at a surface not a good solution something else that comes up a lot is this kind of situation um, it appears that I have something vanishing but in actuality this surface is actually 45 degrees from this back wall the reason that's not good is what I, I actually need 90 degrees I need I need something to align my green and red axis to so while I could probably maybe make this corner work or something like that, this is not a great solution because a bulk of this uh, picture is taken up by a 45 degree wall, which I can't align to either axis. So again, a good solution is an angled view, something like this. And the nice thing is I don't have to use the walls or anything like that. I can use anything that I know is running perpendicular I can use. So I can use this, uh, these beams in the ceiling uh, down here. If I know this table, for example, if I know this table is lined up uh, parallel to the, to the walls of the room, I could actually use that as reference. And there we go. Look at that. See, that's a nice looking grid. It's laying out just like I would look at regular SketchUp. So there you go. That gives you an idea of the kind of image that you're going to want to use to use match photo, what makes a good image and what makes a bad image. Thank you.